Hi everyone, welcome to another practice problem walkthrough by Physicademy.com. In this video, we'll work on a practice problem about magnetic induction through Lenz's law. Also, we'll talk about picking the correct direction for the induced current in order to generate the desired magnetic field. Let's read and analyze the problem together. A single turn rectangular loop of width W and length L moves parallel to its length with a speed V. The loop moves from a region with a magnetic field, B, perpendicular to the plane of the loop to a region where the magnetic field is zero, as shown in the figure. Find the rate of change in the magnetic flux through the loop in the following moments. Part A. Before it enters the region of zero magnetic fields. Part B. Just after it enters the region of zero magnetic fields. Part C. Once it is entirely within the region of zero fields. Part D. For each case considered in parts, A, B, and C, state whether an electric current is induced in the loop or not. Part E. For each case considered in part, D, find the direction of the induced current, clockwise, counterclockwise, or zero. Explain your reasoning in a sentence or two. This animation illustrates the state of the loop for part A. Throughout this motion, the area, enclosed magnetic field in the loop, and the angle between the loop and applied magnetic field remain the same. So, as you see, from the perspective of the loop, nothing changes. Then magnetic flux is constant over time, there is no need for Lenz's law to kick in and generate any current to resist the changes. Alright, for part B, this illustration shows the state of the loop as it leaves the magnetic field. As you see, as the loop moves toward the right, the enclosed magnetic field in the loop, or magnetic flux, decreases. This type of change activates Lenz's law, and it will try to resist or cancel out the effect of this change by generating a magnetic field in the same direction that originally was passing through the loop. Lenz's law creates a counterclockwise electric current in the loop to generate such a magnetic field. We call this electric current induced current. To find its direction, we work backward. Since we know the induced magnetic field needs to be pointed toward us or out of the screen, as it is shown, we use the right-hand rule to find the direction of this current. So to generate a field toward us, the current needs to be counterclockwise. The following calculation shows how we can find a mathematical expression for the rate of change in flux under this given condition. Usually, theta in this equation gets confusing. The plane's angle in science and engineering is actually the direction of a vector perpendicular to the plane rather than the plane itself. We call this perpendicular vector representing the plane's direction a normal vector. Part C is similar to part A. As you see in this animation, nothing changes from the perspective of the loop. The magnetic field remains zero the whole time. The area and the direction of the loop are constant too, so there is no change, Therefore, there is no induction. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check our website, physicademy.com, or our YouTube channel for more practice problems. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to support our work.